What's up guys? Nate here back for another Adrenaline Rush adventure. We are out here chasing that 100 pounder yet again and we have Big Rich Fish and his fancy 2024 jet drive boat here getting us all up and down the river. We have the River King Fierce Fishing, Jack Jacob and Matthew. That's Rich's son. Anyways, anyways guys, we're getting a little discouraged. We haven't caught the 100 pounder yet this season, but we are here for two days this time for this video. We're gonna camp tonight. We're gonna have lunch on the river. We're gonna see what all we can find. It should be a blast. So come have some fun with us. Let's go. The lack of sun played a trick on us and we ran up on a sandbar we didn't see and we have got this thing beached. And when it stopped, it stopped. And River did the front flip and was laying upside down on the front of the boat. <laughs> and he broke my and he <laughs> about broke his collarbone and, and J Jacob crushed his ankle. But I don't think it's gonna require doctor visits or anything. I think it's just gonna suck, kinda hurt a little bit. So I think we got lucky. We're all gonna be okay, hopefully. But we are stuck extra stuck Whew. and it is cold it is 39 degrees right now Woo! Well, guys, we are trying to get on the beach there is an emergency guys the sun's out oh yeah i don't know all this nerdy talk <laughs> All I know is just push. You gotta, you gotta learn this stuff now. Oh yeah, y'all are moving pretty good. We're going. Keep going. That mountain won't ask me. Oh my, oh my! Oh yeah, we're we're there. You gotta get over like two more hops and we're good. We're there, we did it. This is not good. We already crashed once. I did a front flip. Got my like knee. Got my knee bloody. Track. I love this spot, guys. I just love this just hang on to the side. Uh, There's like a lot back there. Yeah, well, whenever we find a deep pocket, they're all gonna be piled in there. Okay, I can see the wakes here. They're around. Let's see if we can get one more pocket. Sometimes the deep pocket's right up at, right after the sandbar drops off, like right up here, right before these sycamores. It could be like right up in here, maybe. Right here, looks deep, right by the bank. What we really need to do is use your depth finder and just find the deepest. Cause look, they're all coming. All right there was pretty deep. So find like the spot that hits like four and a half or five foot between right here against these trees. Oh, right here against these trees between here and that those trees that stick out, and that's where we need to cast. We're gonna fish it. So this is a possible fishing spot. Do we want to start casting here, or do we want to go check up there and see if they're blocked up there somewhere too? Oh, that was a big carp, I think. If we can catch a carp for catfish bait. All right, guys, we are at our first fishing spot. We have overcome our beach, our beachness, 
and uh, we just seen Spoonbill jumping everywhere when we were driving in the boat and we are about to go cast. I can't wait anymore on these guys. I'm going to throw at them. Ugh. And it is cold this morning. Woo! Let's go get them. Hey guys, last night put on this real oil. My friend Tyler gave me this real oil. Is the owner of Chew Lubricants and you can check out Chew Lubricants at chewproducts.com or on the True Lubricants Facebook page. But if, I don't know if you noticed, but we are rough on our reels. We throw them in the sand, we throw them in the water, and I'm surprised that they make it this long. So we do what we can to help them out. And so far, this stuff has been amazing. All over in there. Let me put it on here. Anyways, you've seen how we treat our reels, and they're still going strong. As far as the reels go themselves and everything, we've had no problems. And I expect tomorrow, right now when you're seeing this, that this is gonna be working super smooth. I'm gonna be catching that 100 pounder. So check it out. Yeah. On Facebook, True Lubricants. All right, let's go get them. Okay guys, we're about to take our first cast in this new hole that we just found. Here goes, first cast. Oh crap, it snapped off I think. It just came off. Did you hit a fish or something? Yeah. Got one, first cast of the day. Come on, boys. Woo! Dad's on. Get him in. Come on, 100 pounder. Could this be the 100 pounder? Grab him for me, not hook him. Please. Your hands are not got gloves. Bring him in. He's not a bad one, Dad. Not a bad one. Nice and clean. There you go. Cool little paddle fish. Man, we are one for one at this first spot of the day. Nice beach right there. I I think it'll get stuck on that. Eat the uncrusties. We gotta get some fish. The water's gonna come up and the fishing's gonna get bad. Oh no, a dry cast. There he is. Yeah, Jacob's first spoonbill cast. He's hung up. <laughs> I was excited. <sighs> Paddlefish number two for Nate. <sighs> Come on out, sunshine. We got to get warmed up a little. Please, sunshine, stay out. All right, guys. Here goes my second cast. Let's hope I don't get broke off. Let me make sure my drag is really low. On, I'm on. Yeah. River's on. Tripled up, look at that. Oh, they're all jumping. They're all jumping, we're tripled up. Told you, 95%. He's running upstream. My hands hurt. Yeah, you gotta kinda get all tangled up together when you're doing it, you just... If someone gets one on or something, you try to just walk under them. These guys, fishing from the dang boat, River, you believe it? He's hooked up, we got quadrupled up! Now they're running towards you, they run fast! Wow, guys. Ah! His first paddle fish is a gar! Nice, Jacob. I don't want them to bow, do it. Ah, oh, hell. All right, guys. My first one of the day. Oh, my fingers hurt. Oh my god, this hurts. Free ah, buddy. Look at that. That ain't a bad one. The biggest one of the day. Looks like about a 60 pounder. Bye, big buddy. Number three for dad. Keep your own count, boys. Keep your own count. Look what Jacob caught, guys. Jacob is in the lead for Gar. Wow. Hey. Through the bridge. Matthew, you better get you one. Oh, I'm hooked up. I don't even care if you can tell. I'm so tired. He's off. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. Fish won't give up. <laughs> That's what everybody says their first or second one. Oh, it's, it's huge. Dude, Dad, I have a nice one on. I'm pretty sure. Look at this nice one, Dad. It's close to 60. It is a nice one. Got him. Come on, 100 pounder. Let's get it over with today. Woo, he's a flopper. Uh, us real hardcore guys. Here, let me lower your thing. I got a hundred pounder for sure on this thing. <sighs> okay. No, no. It's low. What? It's a hundred pounders gone. You suck at this. <laughs> Number four. I say we weigh him. I'm gonna guess 65. Yep. 63 pounds. 63 pounds. Uh, I'm getting you undone, so if you just calm yourself, oh, I'll be over quick. There you go, bro. Bye bye. Matthew's on. I don't know how long I've not been filming, but I wasn't filming. <laughs> I don't know what I didn't film. Matthew's first paddlefish, he's battling it. He's been battling it for a few minutes. I stopped reeling and then just keep walking. Just drag him in. There you go. There it is. His first one. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Matthew's on. He's got a bent bill. Look at oh, that look thing. At that. Holy Very Lord. unique. Wow. He caught a trick bill. Yeah, Matt. Wow, look at that funny bill thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. There you go. Man. <laughs> Number one for Matt. He's got the funkiest one of the day. Fierce is on. River's back on. Nate already has five. Jacob's lost some stuff. And caught a gar. Getting it, buddy? I'm on again for number three. No, I think. Nope, he's running towards me. Yeah, he's, he's running towards me. Come on, little buddy. Our big buddy, whatever you are. There he is. This one's a little guy. Number three. God, there you go, buddy. Free to go. Oh my god, I just railed into one. Y'all see that? Got one. Oh, nope. Just bumped. Got one. Maybe. Jesus, okay, I'm starting to swing. I'm gonna swing hard. Yep, on the terrible cast. Oh, tired I am. Chill out. Look at this little baby, guys. Not a winner, but he's a nice fish. Bye bye, little buddy. Oh, oh. Hey, he got revenge before he left, bro. Got y'all snapped on for a second. Let's see what this cast does here. Whoever's idea it was to not bring waders with the boat, bad idea. I mean, I was supposed to make a video with Pierce's waders. That would have been perfect. We wouldn't have to walk in them at all. Oh yeah. Oh boy. This is like last year when we went with Joe Pierce, how cold it is right now. What I'd really like to do is since we got the boat, hop around and locate some different patches of them and see if we can find where their bigger ones are at and stuff. So far these are smaller on average than the ones up in the other puddle. That's a pretty nice one. Biggest one of the day for me, I think. I don't know. Bigger than normal weight of rivers. I might have came off. Nope, he's still on. He's just running towards me fast. Come on in, buddy. You know, if you just swim towards me, you can make life a lot easier. Oh! No! Oh! Got him! I got him! I got him back on, guys. He thought he could get away. He's not a bad one, either. Uh-oh. I might have been on. Right. Number five. 
this rolling? I think. Jacob, have you still not caught one? <laughs> Jacob's over there catching fiercest fish. I got him right in the tail. No wonder he was such a fighter. It's like a little bit long. It got me all soaked. Number seven, I tied up river for the lead. Mm. Jacob's on his well, he's been on his first paddle fish about three times, but this might be the first one he lands. <laughs> I have a feeling about this one. Dude, we almost got to find a different fishing spot out of the wind, bro. Oh, no way. I'm just getting started out. <laughs> well, I haven't seen any big ones in this cluster yet, and I'm You're afraid... <laughs> you don't understand. Up there we were catching, we caught like 10 over 70 yesterday. That one wave was 60, right? Yeah, because we're spoiled. This is like a 25, 30 pounder. <laughs> First one though. Yeah. Gotta start somewhere. Walking my dog. Watch out, y'all. Yeah, be careful with that. Like a bill that, like I said, that was the only thing that would probably hurt you. A bill with the angle. Belly hook. Oh. Show us your first one. No. no? Okay. That counts. How'd it feel oh. catching your first spoon? Felt oh, amazing. I think I'm closest to 100 now. All right, Jacob's on the board. Rich. Rich, you gotta get on the board. This is my chance to increase my lead. Got him on. Dad is now hooked up. So I'm taking a break because my foot is like about to die of coldness. And that's pretty much what we're doing right now. Matthew's just chilling over there and his waiters. There's some people down there fishing way down yeah, there. Like a under Jacob's eating a victory on Crustable. Never mind, he came off. I pulled a Jacob. <laughs> Number eight. The water is actually warmer than the air, I believe. Well, warmer than the air with the wind in it. it it's for sure warmer than the windshield. That water is 50 something degrees, 50 degrees maybe. And that freaking air is like 45 with the wind on it. Got him. He's a runner. Feels like my biggest one of the day. I don't know if I'm under or over your rich. He's mine's coming down. Come on, keep coming this way, buddy. I love it. I love it when they run right towards you. Could one of these be the hundred pounders? Jacob's over there screaming because he thinks he has a good big fish on. And dad's over there. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. It's like the biggest one I've seen today for sure. Oh, wow. I'm sure I can get him. Big. Grab him, Rich. Grab him, Rich. No, it's, I got it. I just. I'm going to carry the hook. I'm going to carry the hook. Oh no, don't go back out there, bro. Here we go, Pierce. Coming on. Yeah. He's worth a weigh, at least. Probably a 69 pounder. All right, let's see what she says. It did. 65. Damn. He gave me a. A bigger fight than a 65 normally does. Jacob. Guys, doesn't Jacob kind of look like Heiko? Is that the one we said was a little baby? Uh, that's a giant record right here. Oh my. Well guys, I have been recruited as the GPE. GoPro executive. And that means I'm just gonna film while they catch fish and I'm just gonna chill. It's nice. Yesterday I caught 50 and our group caught 207. We had eight people in our group and I caught a fourth of the fish. River caught 32. So me and River caught almost half of them. Uh, they just slower like you see how fierce is sitting there in the boat taking a break for most like half the time. They reel them in a little slower like I kind of I kind of get them in quick and have less of a hookup time than a lot of other people. 
Yeah. This is number 10 for Nate. Hitting the old double digs. Hit them, Riv. River's on. Well, river's on real quick. Dad's coming over here to take a quick snack break. If you try to pull it up into that crease, it'll help it, but it'll be all right even like that. This cold makes you like want to eat more. I know. Like I'm eating to try to <laughs> get warmed up or something. But, oh yeah, Jacob's on. I think he's on. Yeah, he's on. Oh, he's a jumper. He's a jump. Oh, wow, River, look what you did to me. Y'all saw that? Yeah, I saw it. I was I was looking at it. I might have got it on GoPro. Number nine for you or ten? No, it's easy. He's just coming towards us. No, I thought so. Really? Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on! We told you! <laughs> they swim so fast. Like when you feel them do that, you gotta go like... Normally like a catfish, he'll do it and I catch you back up. Yeah, they're faster than a catfish. <laughs> Wee, he's a darkie. Welcome back to another episode of Fierce Eats. Today we got Ritz Bits on the menu. <laughs> mm. They're good. Okay, looks like I'm hooked up on number 11. It, well, you can't count your chickens before they hatch, though. You knocked me off. That's what the? Fine. Jacob! Bid me dirty. There he goes. Ah, <laughs> oh, grab him, River. Dang it. <laughs> What do I got a log? Sand maybe. We're about to move spots. Once Jacob gets another fish. Everybody wants to catch one more fish and then we leave, okay? I don't know. This day has to go where this day goes before we decide that. We gotta see like the water comes up, we're getting more fish and stuff. We need to go move. Oh my god. We said Jacob one more fish, we might not get a leave. What? Yeah, I mean, I'm done with this spot, right, Rich? Okay. Oh, so we're trying a lunch spot, and I finally got hooked up on something. I think it's a fish. It's fighting weird, whatever it is. Could it be a little sand bass or channel cat? What could it be? Well, at our lunch spot, first day here, day one, not what I was hoping for, but at least we did get on the board, though. Be back with you in a bit. Well guys, we've got a little bit of firewood we just found. We're gonna try and start the fire so we can make some, make us some lunch. Guys, we have. But I was afraid the water was going to be coming up fast. Fire! The search for the hundred pounder continues. We're stopping for some lunch here. We got our fire finally going. Yeah, you got to get the hot dog stuff out, bro. Already did. We are going to eat some hot dogs. The biggest one we caught this morning, got the fire I believe, was 65 pounds, bit. right? River? Yeah. 65 is our biggest so far. Having a lunch, and then we are going to go increase that number. That's for sure. I think mine was 66. Well guys, I'm just sitting here waiting on the boys to get more wood. I'm a little discouraged because this quest for the 100 pounder isn't going so well so far and it's already taken more videos than I wanted it to take. We haven't even posted all of the videos, I mean all of the fishing trips. We've, we've left a few out where we didn't have as much luck, but sitting here on this campfire and looking around, sun's shining, got my family and friends right here with me on the sandbar and I'm out here fishing. I mean, and I was thinking, it's not all about always getting your goals. Sometimes it's super, it's just awesome to be out here and enjoy nature and enjoy your family and friends. And I'm actually having a great time in this moment. Like I was a little annoyed we weren't fishing. I wanted to stop at a spot where we could be catching fish while we were having lunch. Cause that's all I really know is to just keep going, 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 hundred miles an hour. <sighs> but it's kind of nice just to stop for a second, sit here, take an hour out of your day, yeah, it's an hour we won't get back, but it's an hour well spent. We're gonna have us a hot dog, maybe maybe sneak a beer, see if we can't warm up a little, 
it was in the 30s this morning when we started. There was wind blowing, not to mention we were driving in the boat and I didn't know if I was gonna make it. I'm in shorts, but it's warmed up now. There is a nice wind, so it's still chilly chilly and we're all a little damp from waiting in the water. So it's still cold, but this fire's warming me up, getting me ready to go. And for the second half of this afternoon, I'm gonna be ready to smack these big dogs. And even if we don't catch a fish, which I know we will, but even if we don't, we're gonna have a good time doing it. And here comes River with the firewood. My hero. You know, that's my name and your mom's phone is my hero. My second hero. <laughs> now that is a log, boys. Get that sucker on there. Big Rich with the big load. <laughs> 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 Big bundle of wood. <laughs> My hot dog Toast. is roasted and made. Just a plain old wiener. Toes in the sand. Mom had ketchup sitting on the table for us to take. Yeah. I don't know if it made it in, but I was like, I ain't taking a whole bottle of ketchup for like one little kid. Right. A big ass bottle. Could have taken a couple packets Action. if you're that worried about it. No, because I seen that they had mustard, and he said he had yeah, buffalo sauce. Buffalo sauce. Yeah, and I was like, mustard and buffalo sauce. Like, who <laughs> needs ketchup? I actually don't mind ketchup on my hot dog, but like out here camping, I ain't gonna drink. go through the trouble of bringing ketchup. Buffalo sauce is to put the breading on the fish. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, I'm sitting on the thunder bucket or the king's throne here. I got the only seat in the in the sandbar. <laughs> But I'm the most wet, and if I'd have sat down on this sand, it would have been a disaster. It would have been like a mud puddle. Look what Jacob just did. Ah, uh, sandy. That's devastating. I had it perfectly. I was trying to cut it quick. Ah! Is that yummy? So guys, this morning it was cloudy and windy and super hard to see sandbars. And we, we came up on one that was basically dry land and we hit. Everybody went flying forward. River though got at the worst. He flipped, landed on his shoulder and head upside down on the bottom of the floorboard and then kept going. Did a whole somersault, crashed into Fierce and Jacob and smashed Jacob's ankle against the boat. But River has a big old bruise on his collarbone from, from that. Whenever we, I wish I'd have got the camera going before he, cause he sat there for a good 10 seconds, just like with big eyes and like in shock. And he was upside down on his head with his legs up in the air, like smashed against Fierce in the, in the edge of the boat. And just like looking around. <laughs> it was like a cartoon that got stuck in the wall upside down or like a little, like something that got stuck in a spider web. It looked like, it just like. <laughs> yeah, I just remember, I remember like flying and I don't even really remember anything. I just remember like starting to hit the sandbar and then just like the boom. Then I just remember hurting in my shoulder and feeling fierce and being like, oh, I hope I didn't hurt him. And then everybody's like, are you okay? And I was like, I think so. And he goes, who is this? What do you mean, who is this? <laughs> if Fierce if and if Jacob's legs and, and bodies wouldn't have been there, and he would have hit that metal, he would have got hurt way worse. He said Fierce felt like a pillow. So thank goodness for that. Good yeah, job Fierce's there, Fierce. belly was there to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what is that? You were gonna jump on a stump? Yeah. Told you. Oh my gosh. It was swimming. It was swimming. The stump was that swimming. From that little... River just almost jumped on a stump to noodle it. Not true. He said it was swimming. He said it was swimming. Why would you say a stump was swimming? That's crazy. It had some grass on the back. Oh, guys, it is getting just warm enough now. I almost feel like it's, I'm almost like, ah. Oh. But it's like, it's yeah, like I can almost like stop being like, <laughs> I feel like I've been constricted all day, all tight. All right, guys, we're trying this new spot that we've never tried before. And so we're going to try it. I'm going to take my first cast. <clears throat> oh, crap. That was a good cast, though. It was like 10 foot out there, so. Does that, is that a gar or something? That's not no spoonbill. Oh yeah, that's bait, baby. That's bait. Maybe they'd be all up where it kind of like started to be like four or five foot, you know? All right, well, I'm gonna turn y'all off till I get some action. 
Rich done snagged our first flathead that I've seen snag while I was with him. Flathead! Shoot, that could be dinner. That's a spotted one. Look at him. That's cool. Wait, let me look at him. Don't release him. Good work, Rich. But you know, that's not a hundred pound spoonbill. Maybe we should put about five or ten more minutes and move spots if we don't get a spoonbill here. This looks just like the spot that we were just at up there with the other eagle. <laughs> they had like a little creek. Like, we're going like that. What, what depth we at? Uh, two six. Deceiving. Up there. Over. Oh, right there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, next time I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, let me show you how the river does it here. Uh -huh. They're like kind of doing something where they're bumping into each other. Look, this would be another spot. There was no reason for them to want to come over this unless the water was way up and they knew they were good to go for a long ways. This boat is nice. Really? Cool. Hey, thank you. We were walking it. Right, all we gotta do is go that way. Oh, is this where we were walking the bit? No. It might no, be. Because is isn't that's the rocks right there oh, where we got beached earlier, ain't it? Yeah. Like up that's there. Where we had our fire. Yeah, I think that's up there where we had our fire. Yeah, Alright guys, first cast, new spot. Let's see. Oh, that was a terrible cast, but oh well. Oh my god, no! He snapped me off! Why does this always happen at the new spots? We all have one, except Dad, because Dad's a weirdo. Oh, we're all hooked up! My 65 pound line. Oh my god, mine's a giant! Look at that! Guys, we are all hooked up. Look, Fierce is just landing his right now, and we are all hooked up. This is crazy. Everybody who has a rod right now in the water is hooked up. Who do y'all think is gonna have the biggest one out of these guys? Mine doesn't feel big, so don't pick me. I would guess on Jake, Rich, or Fierce. I would probably say Rich or, or River. Oh, for a second I thought. No! Dad, you better get one back on. Yeah, Dad lost his. Can somebody catch one for me? Lost it? Yeah. I'll get it back on. All right, I'll catch it. Holy crap, bro. I caught a monster. A little one. Yeah, yeah. that's huge. Told you he felt heavy. Yeah, well, that one might be the biggest right there. Oh, <laughs> There's this little baby first. Oh hey, yeah, I'm gonna get y'all. All right. Oh, shoot, I don't know. This might be the biggest. I just said that. He is way bigger. Yeah, I think it is. Dad got the biggest. No, he <laughs> did <laughs> I had him all day. He had two attempts. I don't count. Y'all ready? Yeah. Nine. Eight. That's a long <laughs> count. Three. Five. Nine. Four. Four. Five. Two. <laughs> <laughs> River doesn't even have his fish. Come on, man. You could have picked it up. I'm ready, guys. Cheese. We gotta weigh this big and quick. Oh, yeah. This one? Yeah. 64. Alright. Bye, big buddy. Thanks for your time. Oh, got one. <laughs> Could this be the hundred pounder we've been hunting? Dad lost it! Dude, what is going on, guys? This is... I feel like it's because I'm tired and I'm just not trying to get them in as quick. All right, guys, here goes my first cast after we were all hooked up. Oh, what? Crap, crap, crap. The fear still has one. 
We're all hooked up. Oh, Fierce just got busted off. Is that mine or yours? That's mine. Where's mine? That was my fish. I had this for a long time first. You literally snagged my fish. Dad snagged my fish. No. Here, hold on. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Doesn't matter where I cast, I just hang them up. Got one right there. Close. Oh, <sighs> Here we go, guys. We got Jacob hooked up. Pierce just let his go. Dad's getting his in. Rivers had to go tie back on. Rich is doing a little bonus filming over there. <laughs> That's what we got going on. 14, I think, for me on the day. Look, even those old fan boats can have cups. <laughs> You, you call them fan boats or air boats? You need us to come pull you out with our jet drive? I know, like, I call them both, but then sometimes, I usually call them air boats the most, but I've had people, if I say one or the other, like, you call them that? What? I've never heard that. And I don't remember which one it is. But one of them, people, isn't as common. I figured everybody knew what I was talking about. See, look. My paddle fish. <laughs> he tried to leave me. Did you see that? He's got that split tail like the one yesterday had. Either I got rich or I got a fish, I don't know. Jacob, did you see how fast I just caught this one? I think that is the one I just caught. Sorry, buddy. Two in a row. He's going to look for shrooms. Hey, hi, hi. I don't know. Jacob's on. Rich is on. Nate's on. Could one of these three be the 100 pounder? Jacob says he's for sure got him over there. I think we're all just getting tired. Our backs are starting to hurt. This one feels like I'm pulling a log. If it's that same one for a third time, <laughs> I'm gonna be embarrassed. This is not the 100 pounder, Jacob. Sword battle. That is not the same one, actually. Good, good. <laughs> Number 16. So while we were, me, Dad, Rich, and Jacob were all spoonbill fishing, Fierce and Matt, Matthew got tired. And so they came over here to gather firewood and get a camp set up. And they're dragging us, I guess a bench, yep. or maybe some firewood. Yeah, look how far they drug that sucker. Far as you can see, bro. Hey, there's no fish lately. Show y'all the technique. Turn it back. Wow. Wow. He doesn't even look big. You know what it is? The water, the current's getting stronger. And the, every time when the water came up that one day I was here, they were like twice as hard to pull in. And they would stop fighting as much like you said and start dragging in more. Uh, I think he's just, you know, he is what he is. Guys, I'm still on this fish. This has probably been my longest reel in of the day. I don't know if he's big or 17, I think. I don't know. I kind of just feel like a break, so I thought about just weighing it while I take a break. <sighs> That's 58. Well, you gave me quite the battle, sir. So, good long. Side on number, I think, 17. Okay, Rich is wanting me to test out his rod. So, if I can get a fish so I can see what it's like. Oh, man, he's got a lefty, too. Whoa! That's so flimsy feeling. Uh, he feels big, I guess, on this, but it's that damn current. It's folding them in half and making them feel like a log. Come on in here, fella. Don't make me lose all those gains, fish. Come on now. Rich says he's actually kind of big. I landed number 18. Oh, no. And the sweater is wet. His log. Number 18, it wasn't bad. I think he's still on, yeah, he's still on. Hooked up. Come here, Mr. Paddle. Number 19. So guys, I went over there and I helped them and they barely had any firewood, but they did have a lot, or they did drag a giant log over there, so. 
But we got a whole bunch of firewood now ready for tonight. And I went and I got the fire starter thing. Jacob brought, it's like you light the thingy and it just stays burning so it can burn the logs and stuff. But look how much water is coming up. See this? All right in here. The water was down by our boat. And now it's all the way coming up in here. And that's where we're sleeping. So we can only hope that the water doesn't come up all the way to where we're sleeping. <laughs> that would suck. But we should be fine. I built it up on kind of like a top of a hill. So it should be good. And we're gonna see how this fire starter does. So here goes nothing. Let's stick this in here. Let's see, where do we want it? Right there, okay. There she goes, guys. Fire starter. We have ourselves a flame. Look what we have created! Yeah. What do y'all think? They I said they're gonna eat some wieners. Like they're over there freezing to death. <laughs> and we just gonna be here, warming up by the fire. Look at all the logs we've collected. <laughs> so we have enough for a long time. Guys, the river is coming up and the fish have thinned way out and I'm at 19 and you know I want to hit that big 2-0. I've hit the big 2-0 on a few trips this year. That's kind of a bench, like, you know, it's kind of when I'm like, okay, it's an okay day. But man, I'm tired and the water's coming up and the fish are not there. Right? But I'm going to finish up my beverage, get a little warm by this fire, and I'm going to walk back out there and take a few more casts to see if I can get number 20 before it gets dark. Because you're not actually allowed to snag for spoonbill after dark anymore or paddlefish anymore in Oklahoma. You used to be able to, but they changed the rules so they can keep an eye on everybody, protect the resources, they say, so no poachers are stealing the eggs and everything. All right, we are gonna take a little break and then we're gonna get some dinner going and maybe kick out the sleeping bags and get warm and cozy and dry clothes. And we'll see y'all in a bit. Okay guys, back out. It is getting late. I'm gonna see if I can pop one more here. Oh no, I bumped one I think. Airboat, here comes the airboat. What does their thing say? Maybe they stirred up the 100 pounder. Oh yeah, they did. They stirred up the 100 pounder. Yeah, he's a jumper too, boy. He doesn't know what to think. This will be number 20 here on the big waves. Ha <laughs> ha, number 20 is a nice fish but he does not look like the 100 pounder get on out of here big fatty we are sitting here waiting on dinner i think it's the flathead rich caught and uh jacob's got it looking like a restaurant over there it's gonna be good i'm ready okay here we go my first piece of fish Yeah, it ain't bad. All right, we're starting to get camp set up here a little bit. We've got the fish cooking. The kids have gathered more firewood. They're so helpful. And then the uh, fresh fish. I'll just have a little more. Well guys, it's about 3 a.m. I just woke up. What these guys are doing, this is Nate. He's 
I'll see when it's fun or something. This is River set up. He's asleep in there. Trying to be quiet. Now this guy, Jacob, he's doing good living the life over here. He got the mattress and everything. That's our firewood collection. All the big rich fish. Sleeping, doing good. And then his little kid, Mateo. Turn all guys off. Well, guys, we survived the night. And look, one was going hard. River's sleeping bag got a hole burnt in it. But, but luckily, he didn't catch on fire. So, boys, are y'all about ready to get up? We're burning daylight, bro. He's the coldest one. He kept getting closer and closer to the fire. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, it's about 8 something a.m. and these kids still will not wake up. So I'm gonna go ahead, take a load to the boat, because I'm gonna get wet already. I am gonna see if I can't get that 100 pounder for a few casts this morning. Rich is out there this morning, not very long after sunlight, and he's already grabbed a hold of one. So the waters came up, as you guys can tell, look how far away. Good thing we had anchors out, because the river shoreline has came way up. Made it about halfway between us, our camp and the boat. But luckily, didn't come up too high. Rich is right on him this morning. We're letting him go first. Make sure that there's still a, a healthy spool of them over there because he's the only one with waders. And it is chilly this morning, 48 degrees. Gonna hold him up. Yeah. Nice. Here we go. Good luck. Well, nothing yet, guys. Still. Taking quite a few casts. Rich might have caught them all. Jacob, he's got a nice one. We gotta do the noodle. He came off his hook. <laughs> got him. Nice. Bye, buddy. What do you think that was? About a 60, probably. Him. No, yeah, he's on. Oh, he's a nice one. I wasn't ready for all that. <sighs> Come on in, big dog. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Ooh, I think we should weigh him. I think he's the biggest of the day, at least. Bear's still working this morning. That's cool. Here we go. Not very heavy. 60. Three. Pretty fish. Drag marks on her belly. Hi, big buddy. He's a flopper. Number 10. Number 10 of the morning, guys. Unfortunately, the waters came up overnight and uh, it just seems like the fish are more scattered and smaller. I'm afraid this ain't gonna be the trip where we get them, but we had a great time, fun camp out. Last one go here. Oh, hey, flip over, buddy. <laughs> He'll catch it. <laughs> get traction. There he goes. All right, boys, we gotta get up. We already caught a lot of fish this morning, and y'all gotta get up. There you are. How'd you sleep, Sleeping Beauty? How was it? <laughs> well, we pretty much have camp tore down. We're just lingering around the last remnants of this fire, getting the last bit of warmth. It's actually warming up this morning, but it's still windy and chilly. All right, guys, back to the ramp, loading up. Me and Jacob, we were just talking, and he says Oreo is not the same thing as cookies and cream. Comment down below if cookies and cream is pretty much the same thing as Oreo. We call it a little bit of an early day because they got a long, long drive back to Texas, and we are hungry, and the fish were spread out, not as big. But uh, the quest for the 100 pounder continues, guys. But thanks for sticking with us this long. And as always, your likes, shares, and comments are much appreciated. And we will catch you on the next one.